Hey everybody and welcome back to part 13 of Spyro, A Hero's Tale. I'm Nostalgia Scott and yeah, we're here in the icy wilderness and we have to go to the icy citadel. And we'll see if Moneybags is a new power-up since we're in a new world now, which I assume he will. Because he always does, right? Um... Nope. Just the aqua bomb. Wow, that is... that is saddening. Anyways, I actually don't know what we're like where we're supposed to go here. There's reinforced doors, so clearly there's gonna be uh like a supercharge or something. There's the boss. Which is funny because we need to destroy 30, so yeah, there's 40 in the entire game. But also what about this penguin guy over here? What's he doing? Hi penguin. Hello there. You must be Spyro. The area behind me is protected by a very clever security system that, may I add, I personally designed myself. Oh, something complex that those brainless norks would never figure out. But I bet a dragon of your skill and intellect would do it in no time. Ooh. Okay, okay, cut to the chase. What do I need to do? <laughs> oh, just activate all electric switches in this area within the time limit and the gate will open. It's actually as simple as that, really. Uh, nothing complex at all. Hmm, uh, maybe the Norks could have figured that one out, but they would have never been fast enough to do it. Uh, do you want to give it a go, Spyro? Why are you cold? You're a penguin. All right then. Uh, you do realize that I'm zapping that, right? Also, you do realize that I'm not spinning around in circles, right? Now, where are all of these things exactly? Because I don't... It didn't show off all their locations. It just kind of abruptly kind of showed them. We still need two more, though. Where are these last two? Uh huh. Was there one over here? I don't know where the rest are, game. Huh. Oh, there was one! Wait a second. Oh, I wonder if it'll uh, allow you to see them. Uh, don't forget, Spyro. All you have to do is activate all switches within the time limit to open the gate. What I hate is you can't you skip their dialogue. That's the issue. It's like you just can't skip their dialogue. Okay, one's over there, one's over there. Oh, and the other one's behind that fence. I seen it now. I seen it. I really wish, though, that it would, um, like, these things would be easier to trigger. I don't know why they made them so clunky. You know, like, why, why do they have to be so clunky, man? Also, why did I get stuck there? Alright, now we just need two more, and we're golden. Okay, we already finished that one up there. I thought there was one there, but I guess not. Wait, where was the last one then? I thought we... Oh, it's right here. It was there! Woohoo! Alright, so we opened up Penguin Path. Let's see, where does that even lead? Only leads to one little area, so going here doesn't seem like it'll be that detrimental. Die! The sound effect. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sounds like he's moaning that you're... We gotta actually use the water breath here. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm always down for using the new power-up for more than five seconds in this game. Hey, it's a cute little penguin girl down there. Woohoo! Why are there all these snowmen everywhere? There was a mole in there. Why was there a mole in there? I... Click this! Alright, it looks like it activated... Oh, I activated that, okay. Um, there's nine light gems, seven eggs, and five dark gems. Oh, there's actually half this world's dark gems all in one zone. Maybe there's... Now, there's three levels to this world. There's this one and then the two. So, I don't know. 
Kind of weird. Also, it doesn't really need to bring you that far. We found Santa's village! And that was one of nine, so there's actually quite a few. Now, I don't think there's a power-up, though, that we get anymore from the professor. I think we got them all. So, now we do need to go down here. Apparently... Oh, apparently there's ice physics. You just can't charge. Okay, what do you got there, little penguin? Please, help me. The nasty creatures have taken over the skating rink, and I can't find my husband Phil to do anything about it. Well, why can't you? Go in there and get rid of those troublemakers, Spyro. Oh my god, we're gonna have to do it twice. This better not be a turret mission. Eskimoles and yetis. Wait, both moles and yetis are good, though. So this doesn't look like a, a skating rink, by the way. Why are there so many holes? Also, why are moles coming up out of the water? Like, this just seems ridiculous. Man, I hate these cannon missions. This should be the one for this world, though, which is good to know. Oh my god, there's so many enemies, because that bar is going up so slow. Ooh. 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 Their sound effects are just ridiculously dumb. Get wrecked, everybody. Now, I'm pretty sure Yetis spawn up on the mountains, right? Bentley, is that you? Why are you and your brethren evil and hunting penguins now? You guys were like super friendly creatures. These aren't real yetis. Also, fun fact, we'll actually see some more familiar faces in this game. I think why this game didn't choose like Sheila or anything like that is because they were done like a ton of times for the Game Boy game. Let me guess, more down here now? Or is it going to be a mix of both? Oh, it is going to be a mix of both. Okay. Kind of a mix of both. Because they're kind of like... in really weird... Ow. Oh. Oh, you can't actually destroy their attacks, though, though, so that's good. Die, you stinking yetis. Is that it? This is a long first one, by the way. I'm scared to know what the second one is. I guess it only took two minutes, but now I have a leg cramp because of it. Oh, God. Leg cramp. Thank you, Spyro. Here, take this dragon egg as a reward. Oh, thank you. Spyro, that gang of troublemakers has returned. Would you get rid of them for me? There's a light gem in it for you this time. Why do you guys all sound cold and sick? Also, um... Why would they be helping each other, you know? Like, it makes no sense, because they're moles and yetis. Like, I don't get, like, why... And they're using, like, harpoons and ice balls. Like, they're not even, like, remotely friendly, you know? I can't even tell which one of you two spawned in first, because I don't look at the radar fast enough because I'm paying attention to you guys. I just see it at the corner of my eye like, oh, there's enemies over there, so let's, let's deal with them. I don't actually mind when they're faster paced like this, because they're not really doing anything. Ow! What the heck hit me? Oh, there's yetis up there now. How am I supposed to deal with that? Okay. Yetis. I'm fine if you just give me yetis. Like, these guys are the easy ones, but otherwise they're kind of annoying. Because, like, you can't move the cannon fast enough to go up there without getting hit. Oh, now we're gonna start getting the guys in the water, too. Luckily, we can, however, destroy their weapons, like I said. I don't think you can destroy the harpoons, though. So those are what kind of get you, but... Are we halfway done yet, guys? I don't I can't tell. Oh, okay, we're past the halfway mark, so that's good. 
Are you seriously still around, buddy? Now we should be over here, right? Yes, I knew it. Oh, so they throw barrels from up above, and then they throw snowballs from over here in the snow. And this is the part I'm actually not too annoyed with. The other part there, that was annoying. Luckily, the moles do have a longer attack time than the yetis seem to have, even though the yetis have to wind up and make a snowball. Ah. I killed the yeti without even trying to hit him. That was hilarious. Brr. Are we just down to yetis? Hmm. Seems kind of weird. That we have to do this again for like the umpteenth time, but just abruptly. Because it's clearly not going to take very long, because we're almost done. That's got to be like the last mole right there. Took double the time, but wasn't really any more difficult. Like, we got hit a lot at the beginning, but then that was it. Oh, thank you, Spyro. Here, take this light gem as a reward. Come back any time. Well, thank you. Is it safe yet, Spyro? Or do they keep coming back? You can go back if you want. I'm staying here. That wasn't even like a, a skating rink at that point. That was just dumb. There is a little alcove here. Maybe worth the dark gem? And that's it? No dark shards or anything? Just straight up a dark gem. What is this? This is kind of creepy. But we'll destroy it. Yeah. Earthquake. Ooh, I don't know, man. That looks kind of creepy and shady down here. Especially since there was a bottomless pit that I didn't see because the camera angle was like, nah. Was that our first dark gem? That was only our first dark gem. We haven't seen a single level yet, and there's only... Okay, no, there's more than one teleporter. It's gonna be like, there's only one teleporter in this level outside of, like, the main area. Oh god. You can hear the howling too, it's kind of eerie. Death. 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 Oh man, come on, the TNT crate got me. Wait, this is worth an egg. Sweet. An egg and then probably gems, right? Oh, no, those things. I hate those. Those are like, those are honestly a waste of, um, like, keys. Gems, at least they normally give you enough to get your keys back. But the rest of it, not so much. So I don't get why these guys are down here near a bottomless pit playing with TNT on ice. Like, I really don't understand. Also, we have two and two. We almost have two of everything here, which isn't that bad. One thing we do need, though, because I highly doubt we're going to be able to 100% this area without it, is uh, the wall jump ability. We're gonna definitely need that. So it looks like we're done with this entire little area. So we can thank Phil and his wife for giving us a bunch of stuff. He didn't actually give us anything. Apparently he locked his wife in here with a bunch of murderous creatures, so... Shame on him, I guess. Phil, you suck. And that way is to the next portal, but we can't get in there yet. I don't even know, like, how we would. We can open up this gate, I guess. I'm gonna grab some health here first, and we gotta buy another key, so we'll go and buy a key. This actually fits the theme of, like, the weather and stuff going on lately, you know? Snowy and stuff. Oh, God, I just love the snow. This life has been kind of weird lately, so it's been kind of a bummer, so the snow is definitely one of my ways of coping with it. Come on, man. So where'd that snowball go? Did it just, like, straight up disappear? Oh, yay! A Zoe. A Zoe de Chanel. Oh, there's lots of goodies down here, it looks like. That Eskimole is over there on a platform. That looks kind of dangerous, sir. It'd be a shame if someone burninated the land, like Trogdor. 
Thanks for all the money. We already have 3,000 back, and that's after buying, like, the most expensive item so far in the game. Wait, is that really the Dark Gem over there? I think it's being snowed on, so I don't think we can technically get it yet. Oh, I didn't see you had a shield. I do kind of want that gold gem, though, because gold gems are worth 100 in this game, which may not sound like a lot, but in this game, it adds up over time. Who? I don't even, I can't even see who popped up. Oh, never mind. This is the dark gem right here. Might as well just right. That's number two. Now we have two of everything here. Ooh, where does this lead? Oh, that doesn't actually lead anywhere, so. Oh no, it's Blink again. We are not doing you in this episode, dude. No, no way. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not in a million billion years there, dude. No thank ye. We did all that just to free him. You know how funny that sounds? It's like, oh, thank you. You freed me from this dark gem. I don't know how I got here, but I was trapped anyway. So, yay for me. I thought I flamed his armor off for a second. That would have been funny. Been like, I can't do that, but okay. All right, you and your armor again, but sure. Ah! Did you guys see that? There was a giant yeti in that snowman. What the frick was that? Alright. Uh, it doesn't seem like any of this is timed, which is super useful. I do like that when things aren't timed. Now, it was over here that we had to go, right? Yeah, it was over here. Oh god, not more, uh, traps. How did he hit me? Oh god, what is this? What's over there? Hmm. Oh, I thought I didn't make that for a second. Also, what is over here? Oh, this is actually the next zone. Yeah, there we go. We went to the icy camp. Ooh. Chilly, and I guess I didn't open up a chest. Huh, interesting. So we know where another egg and gem are. Because they're at the blink section, which is fine, but... You cannot attempt to... Really? Also, there's the wall jumping thing again. So we can't double jump on ice. This is the first time we're telling this... Oh god, there's a lot of wall jumping over here. Oh my god, I hate the TNT. Wait, why am I... Why was he not dying, but I was constantly taking damage? Yeah, I don't... We can't do literally anything else in that section, so what's over here, then? Is this still, like, a singular room, I guess? Oh, wait, what's this? beating bigger baddies than you. All I have to do is run around you a few times while I figure out your weakness. Then I just hit you three times and... Elephant, only it, it wasn't really an elephant. He had hair all over his body. <laughs> okay, right, I see. Yeah, Harry. Oh no, they got Spyro? We have to rescue him before it's too late. <laughs> but what if it's already too late? <laughs> Relax, buddy. Spyro's still alive. I know, because if he weren't, we'd be going back to a previous save. <laughs> I rock. Ah, uh, yes, the section where you have to play as Hunter. Yeah, so I guess, technically, this is a good place to end it, because this is a, 
a big section and this one actually has six eggs and eight light gems on itself this is an entire world on its own and it's all hunter as i think it's all hunter so anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please remember to leave a like comment subscribe hit that bell for notifications and i will see you guys all next time where this game is actually surprisingly getting better and easier peace guys Thank you.